Elastic and inelastic collision. To understand this concept, we take two balls. When these two balls collide, then after collision, they will rebound with velocities less than the velocities bef before the impact. Important question is why after collision velocity of ball is less than before collision velocity? Because a part of kinetic energy is lost and this loss is converted into heat and sound at the time of collision as well as against friction. So we can define this type of collision, a collision in which the kinetic energy of the system is not conserved is called inelastic collision. If we take ideal condition, no kinetic energy is lost in the collision. This type of collision is called elastic collision. To understand this collision, we take another example of hardball. If hardball is dropped onto a marble floor, it rebounds to very nearly the initial height. It loses negligible amount of energy in the collision with the help of floor. But in real case, if we drop the hardball onto the marble, it rebounds to less than half of its initial height because part of kinetic energy is lost against friction, heat and sound. I hope now you have full understanding about elastic and inelastic collision. Please subscribe my channel for more anime.